you always talk about how the left is evil because they're trying to divide everyone. They're trying to go to battle. Yet I see the same thing happening with Turning Point USA. And as someone that even holds conservative ideals, it's something that is very concerning to me that this is the way that we're having conversations. Okay, but you have to give us a, a, an example. You can't just say you're dividing people. You have to give, what, we have to give us an example. Want to come up and talk? You can, you're allowed to talk too. Don't do the shouting thing. It's like we're all adults. Just let's just get up and get in line. We'll let you speak. Go ahead. <laughs> I, have zero, I have zero tolerance for that. Go ahead. I think that, well, for example, you said, uh, Candace specifically, you talked about how the left wants to divide us, which I completely agree with. And then you said that it was our responsibility to go to battle against them. To me, those are fight words, which equates to battle and divisiveness. So I don't think you're trying to... Fact hold on. Did I factually say we have to go to battle? I don't usually use that word battle. We have to go to battle with the left? I agree with that, but I don't remember you saying All right, it. I, I definitely didn't say that tonight. So... <laughs> I, I don't use I don't use that terminology. Happy to defend something. But, but didn't go say. ahead. So you're saying so. that be, it's it's our responsibility to stand up to the left is what I normally say, and I think it is our responsibility to stand up to the left when when we're getting, being assaulted on campus and told that we can't speak. We have to find our voices and we have to stand up and we have to get together. I don't get how now you're equating that with violence. I wasn't equating it with violence. Neither do I think a lot of leftists are violent, but they do. They are, well, well, they are. Oh, so whoa. I don't know. I saw this video where me and Charlie were eating in a cafe in Philadelphia, right? Look, look, and here, here's the thing. I, I think you're coming from a good place, but I'm, there is no moral equivalency between the right and the left. Just Only the left shouts down conservative speakers. Only the left deplatforms voices on social media. Punches them in the face. Where have you seen this? Show us, just let us know. I Show us where you've seen it on the right. I the original point of individualism versus collectivism. I think when you put people in a box, it's very dangerous. And I do understand the dangers of the left and of socialism. It's really dangerous, it's bad. I no, mean, but here's what I'm having trouble with. I just need you to actually give me a concrete point because I feel like you're saying a lot, but you're not really saying, you're, you're, it's a lot of feeling but not a lot of facts. So what did Turning Point do specifically that you feel led to divisiveness or violence? You have to say, you can't just say like, oh, I feel like it's this or that. There has to be something that we've said. Calling the left violent is a fact. That's not divisive for me to call them out for their violence. What I wanted to understand was the rhetoric you guys use. How is it different from the left? Give us a sentence that we said, and I can give you an answer. I want, when you mentioned that we have to go, we have to band together and we have to fight against them, all the comments you made about multiple politicians, all these things, I think... I just need an actual sentence, not like, I need you to just tell me one sentence. Candace Owens, you said, boom, and I'm going to answer the question. I don't have a specific one, but what I would say is I don't understand why you would go against. I, I, I just, I just need, I just actually need a specific. I want to sentence. go back to my original point of the individual. Do you? Th this is my actual question. Do you think that you're polarizing individuals who might be on the left that might convert to the right? Using we just had a Democrat stand up. He came to the front. He had a conversation. It was great. He asked a question. We're, we're and literally it. inviting people who disagree with us to the front. We of the line. clapped for him. We gave like, a. Like, I we're mean, literally you know, demanding they come to the front. This of the would line. never happen if this was a room full of leftists. In, in fact, we're going to stay here tonight till they kick us out, talking to people we disagree with. I can't think of something no, we're more so free tolerant. We're so free We had Mark Cuban at the high school leadership summit. You debated him over there. That's Mark correct. Cuban like I, I just, I, if this was a room full of Antifa, I couldn't walk in with my MAGA hat. I, I spent two hours in the hallway out there today, tabling with our Turning Point USA group, talking with anyone on any topic at any time. Leftists don't do that. They don't. I'm sorry, they just don't. So, oh. I mean, what I've got from, I, I can't still, I'm waiting for a concrete sentence that I said, but what I'm getting from you is that you feel like the fact that we're standing up for ourselves is divisive. It's not. It's necessary because they've grown increasingly violent, and that's a fact. Hey, everybody. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.